just some more practice sessions get some more learning done let's uh, attack the queen and let's just develop the knight don't chase the queen around too much let's just push the pawn let's get the bishop out let's get castled and last little thing for me is to get the bishop out here try and swing it here swing it here swing the bishop back swing it to here so a slow steady attack on the queen nothing major obviously it's going to go for the b pawn as always long pause now because it knows what the bishop is doing okay so bring the bishop attacking the queen so we've not had to overextend or anything. We've not overly done attacking the queen. We've, yeah, always for the b-pawn. It's always the case, isn't it? Let's attack the queen. Make sure that we're in a good position with the knight. Get ready just to support. Basics, just attacking the knight. Yes, there we go, as usual. Could always just bring the knight back around again. They'll probably look for a draw doing that. Let's push the pawn and support. And then they're going to hit the pawn with the um, pawn. Sorry, hit the knight with the pawn. No, they're bringing the knight in. Right, okay. Maybe it's attacking. It's what else is it doing? Not a right lot. Let's attack the queen. Maybe the bishop takes, or maybe they don't see that the queen is being attacked. It can happen. long pause again where is it moving the queen to some sort of safe haven moving it here hopefully it moves it there take it with the bishop it's gone into the corner bishop can't attack it just yet knight can still continue attacking but the queen is going to take the pawn so let's not chase it too much shall we just get this knight attacking something Attacking their knight. Yeah, let's get it attacking their knight. Take with the pawn. Open up space. Rook's looking, but it's not supported at the minute. What's he doing? Taking pieces off the board. Damn cheek. Let's just take it back. Got spaces in here, but he's protecting all these. okay so I'm forcing my hand to actually attack the queen again let's bring the knight across it's really overworking this queen as we've mentioned in previous videos usually if you've got the opportunity to keep on attacking the queen especially in the early part of the game they do run out of space eventually so i'm going to bring the bishop here which is probably probably going to force them to push down and then we're, we're forked. Yep, we're forked, but then the knight can attack the queen. So the queen has to move out of the way yet again, but it can move safely to this square. So shall we avoid, <clears throat> avoid the fork? Attack the queen now. comes there hmm let's just leave it let's go this way then then there's no forks is there because there's no pawn here let's bring this bishop and attack the queen again does have safe spots not that warm not that warm just one safe spot it can come here as well So its spaces are getting very limited as we're developing up the board. So it has come here. We can hit the queen with the pawn. It's not going there, it's not going there. So only safe spot is here on a dark square. So we could push this pawn up. It really is, looks like it's really running out of space, but 
problem we've got is because we're so focused on this queen, this knight doesn't have any protection on it. So we could bring the bishop x ray through. The knight could move somewhere. Just bring it back down. We could support it. Could bring the queen and look for an exchange. That's probably the safer option, isn't it? And then we just get it out of the way. Don't want to chase it too much and then they gain advantages with the sly little moves. Doesn't have to exchange, but I think there's not many places for it to go now, is there? Nope. So you'd think it would exchange. Why are they taking so long over this move though? So we take with the knight, still supporting the pawn. Or extend the pawn up. Because it is doubled anyway. Give it a bit of power. No, I think we're going to take with the knight. Again, this knight's got no protection on. So I'm going to bring the rook support in. Could have brought the bishop. Probably would have been a better fit. Because it would have had the diagonal. Okay, so shall we x-ray through? Mm, but then the rook comes across and attacks. Shall we hit the knight? I think the knight's looking to come down here and attack this pawn, isn't it? I think the knight is coming here. Let's just push this. Oh no, he's got two on one. That's so stupid. Damn. He's got two on one. Eee, but you know, it's only plus one. Our rook's on the open file. I don't know if it was a free gift or what. Did they get carried away then? No, no, they're still plus one. Strange that one. Let's attack the pawn twice. Attacking this pawn. That was a strange interaction, that last bit there. I, f I felt like we were going to be up something, but we didn't look that way. Let's attack the rook. Let's attack the rook again. It's like it's building up slowly, even though they're plus one. All right, so we don't have to take, and the king's not getting back rank mated. I'm going to take this pawn. I'm going to take. Not sure, not sure, not sure. Let's take this pawn. They look a little bit mad now because they're just going a little bit frantic. Let's just take this pawn. It's currently plus one, but the check's got to come on, obviously. Let's move the king. Got a dark square bishop, so this might happen. And we've got a white square bishop. And we can attack their rook. Just take. It's attacking this pawn. So we can bring this pawn here onto a white square. So I'll be coming behind to try and get this pawn. And let's put a check on the king. Push on to the bishop. Right, let's not move too fast now. Let's look at where they've landed. And then move. Let's look at where they've landed. Oh, let's not do that. So we go here. Bishop comes behind. It's got like a two on one. So we need to stick, keep it on a white square. Boom, boom, boom. 
Yeah, let's keep it on the white square. And let's just move the rook and come back around again somewhere. There's no point attacking the bishop. King's just going to block the rook in. We could attack the bishop here. We're wanting to come back out again with the rook. I think the bishop's just going to sit there and block the pawn. It's not sitting there and blocking the pawn. Mm -hmm. On a dark square, let's just hit this bishop. Forcing it to come in here. It's not, it's not wanting to come into the little lair. We said we wanted to come back down with the rook. Maybe we come here. Looking to try and see if we can push the pawn up. Bishop's going to put a check on the king. Let's push the pawn up. They're looking to get a checkmate. See how fast they move then? So we can push this pawn to stop that activity. So take him with a check on the king. We can still go for the promotion or we can move the king and just protect the pawn. Which one do you think we should do? Move the king, protect the pawn. Rook comes down. I'm going for the promotion. And let's move the king up. Do we move it up or down? We can move it up because if he puts a check on the queen can take the rook off the board. So you would think the rook would take the queen off the board to make it harder for us. They've not moved. Let's bring the queen down and put a check on the king. So, rook is defending the bishop, so we don't really need to lose any sleep over that. Rook could just go and take the pawn. King takes. But we're not going to do any of that sort of special stuff. Let's bring the queen here, attacking the pawn. We're looking at trying to finish the game, but not rushing it in any way, shape. We've got two minutes. Oh, and they've resigned. I'm wanting to say that was a nice game, but I'm um, going to go back to the beginning and see, because it feels like I was in that game for ages. So, attack, attack. Position. Coming back around. Oh, this was the chase in the queen one, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we constantly kept chasing the queen. Well, we weren't doing it on purpose. The queen was there available for us as we were developing pieces. But there was a certain point where we were getting a little bit embroiled too much in it. And then they kind of stopped our track by actually capturing. So we can still attack the queen. Whether we found the best moves or not, it's plus four something, which is okay, but it's not finishing the game. So we chose to attack with the bishop on this side. Doesn't like that. Yeah, this is what I want to have a look. Bishop takes f7 with, oh, for crying out loud. Oh, dear me. Could have just done this. Would have got the rook off the board as well. So a rook for the rook for the knight. Ooh. So we went for the queen exchange. We didn't know if there was any magic at that point. We were thinking bringing the rook back down again. 
but then it seemed to fall into place quite nicely. So it's being able to see those spots, you know, rather than going with my old way of, oh, we'll just bring the rook back down. We've got a past pawn, can we make it work for us? And then looking really at what squish points do we have on the king coming in towards the end game.